I recently switched to using Fedora rather than Ubuntu. Fedora 37 suddenly seems to do everything I want in ways that I want it. And it's, it's very easy. And I even put it on my main machine instead of Windows. So Windows is consigned to the junk pile at the moment. And one problem I had with Fedora, of the very few problems, is um, a loud popping sound that comes from the audio. I drive a pair of fairly big um, old hi-fi speakers with a 50 watt amplifier, so I get good sound for watching YouTube and whatever. And it's really annoying <clears throat> that when the machine starts, you get a pop. But not only then, but also um, when you play a, a video or some music, uh, you get a loud pop when it starts. And then after it finishes, after a few seconds, you get another pop. Loud sound, which is really annoying. I thought it was a neighbor's banging on the wall till I realized it was coming from the computer. And it turns out to be the power saving feature on Fedora for the audio uh, adapter, audio card, sound card in the machine goes in and out of power saving modes, which makes a loud popping sound on the loudspeaker. And I tried to fix this. And if we look at the terminal <clears throat> over here, hopefully you can see it's uh, um, Fedora 37, which I'm using. And I asked ChatGPT how to solve this problem back in the days when you could access it without waiting in a queue for weeks. And I got a solution that kind of worked, which is uh, this one, <clears throat> which is to edit the um, power saving parameters file, which did solve the problem. <clears throat> the loud pops went away. You change a one to a zero in that file. And as you see, oops, needs a password. So as you see at the moment, the there's this one value in that file, which is set to zero, which means the sound saving, uh, power saving is turned off. And that solves the problem of the loud popping sound um, the only problem is that after reboot, the system changes that zero back to a one again, and then uh, the problem is there again. So I wanted something that would survive a reboot, which ChatGPT wasn't able to provide with a solution. So I had to ask a, a real human being, a friend of mine, who did tell me the solution. So if we just exit out of that with Control X, um, <clears throat> there is actually another file, if I can find it, which um, this one, Power Save Controller, if you look at this one, this one's still currently set to Y, which means yes, so it is using the power save controller. Interesting that some of these files need Y's and N's and others need 1's and zeros, but that's another thing. This is set to Y, but it doesn't seem to cause the problem, so I'm ignoring this, this file. You can see the file name at the top there. <clears throat> so anyway, the solution was to edit a different file to stop the parameters being reset on a reboot. And if I just look through my history, it's this one. It's in modprobe.d and it's a configuration file for the Intel sound card. <clears throat> and if you look in here, all you have to do is first create that file because it doesn't exist normally on a fresh install. So using, I like to use Nano Editor. So if I edit a file with that name, which you can see at the top, <clears throat> then the file's created empty. And all you have to do is type in what I've typed in there, which is options, sound, HDA, Intel, power, save equals zero, and that stays at zero and survives a reboot. So the problem's gone away. So far, for a week now, I've had no loud popping sounds from my speakers. So that's all you need to do, is to create that file with that one line in it. And then let me save it, Control O, <clears throat> show you how it's saved. Press Enter, and then press Control X to exit. So uh, that's the solution to the problem for loud popping sounds on Fedora that I've managed to find and, and seems to work for me. Let me know in the comments if uh, this helped you or if maybe you have a similar problem. Thank you for watching and remember to press the like and subscribe. Goodbye.